So before we really get into the reading for today, I did want to go ahead and give a huge shout out to our sponsor, Keen. Keen has decided to offer you guys your first 10 minutes for only $1.99. Now that is a $99 savings. And you can find psychics, mediums, tarot readers, astrologers, anything spiritual on Keen. Okay, I like to think of Keen as kind of like a dating app, but for tarot readers, astrologers, and psychics, you can get a second opinion, you can read reviews, and you can really see who you would connect with. And I also really like that you can chat with them via phone call or text. So whatever would actually work better for you. So if you guys want to check this out again, you can get your first 10 minutes for only $1.99. You can find that link on the screen or in the description box down below. Thank you again, King. Hey guys, welcome back. We are going to jump into a Pisces love energy update reading. We're going to see what the person connected to you is thinking and feeling. I want to see what kind of dynamic this is. Maybe even see what this person's hiding. Don't forget, you can get everything I have to offer at my website, sweetsoultarot.com. Let's see what's coming in. Pisces and the person connected to Pisces. What does this love dynamic look like? What kind of connection is this? Chemistry, the attraction you feel is mutual. Children could be important in this connection in some sense, form, or fashion. So that can mean that both of you want children. That can mean that you guys have children and your children are your priority. So there's someone where the attraction you feel is mutual. There could have been some sense of acceptance and release that's taken here, that's taken place here recently. So this could be someone new. This could be someone from the past. We have to keep an open mind, but there's been something here where both of you have been able to surrender in a fashion that it's helped you guys let go in a way that I don't feel like you maybe expected. Overall energy here, discontentment. Someone could be worried, although there's chemistry, that someone might not take some sense of an offer. Yeah, there's confusion and illusion. So there's someone where there's a lot of attraction, there's chemistry. This person could be wanting to offer you something, give you something, or this person could be discontent with where this connection is at at the moment. They could be wanting more. Yeah, they could be wanting some sort of new beginning. Just a minute ago, the Seven of Pentacles was under there as well. So in their mind, they're wanting investment. Feeling like you're their fantasy. There could be something here where this person feels like a lot of people can't handle you, whether that's your personality, the way that you are. There is acknowledgement that this person feels like others don't understand you, can't handle you, maybe even don't value you the way that they value you. But again, feeling confused about wanting to offer you something, feeling discontent with where things are at. Why is this person feeling discontent? Okay, hey, so this could be someone where there's petty arguments, petty gossip, conflict. This could be someone where, you know, there's attraction. I like you, you like me. But maybe we're unsure of each other's intentions. Maybe there has been arguments or conflict where this person's approached you in a way and you didn't like it, you didn't appreciate it. Again, wanting to offer you something out of a sense of discontentment. And it has something to do with like communication of, hey, I like you. Hey, I want to get to know you. Page of Cups is an expression of love. It tends to come off in a way of small, like a small offer. But we have to keep in mind that it's usually because you're getting to know someone or because it's new. I'm hearing the song, it took too long, it took too long, it took too long for you to call back. Wait. What song is that? 
So some of you could have felt like it took this person too long. Too long to take action, too long to make a move, too long to want to get out of this petty arguments, petty conflict, disagreements. There is something here though with that song coming up where something has felt like it's taken too long, which has added to this confusion. So how is this person feeling for you? Feeling a little guarded, defensive. Seven could be significant. Feeling like they want give, they want to give and receive. They want to give to you, they want to receive from you. They have a guarded and defensive energy. Why, why, why do they have a guarded, defensive, I wanna protect myself energy? Something here about communication, it could have been something that they learned. Okay, something here about heartbreak, disappointment, and major changes and transformation. So, there's either something here, there, there's so many things that are coming to me. One, you could be dealing with someone who has a little bit of a defensive energy. This person could be sad and disappointed because they want to give and receive, but there could be something here where you guys have had petty arguments, petty conflict, disagreements, and they want to offer something, but they have a sense of confusion around it, which then adds to the sense of defensiveness. Well, I don't know how to fix it, so I'm going to get even more defensive. It's kind of their energy that's coming off. It could also be something here where this person is trying to learn what would change, transform, and evolve this to a different level. But there could be some sense of heartbreak and disappointment coming from it because the more that they learn, they learn and understand that they want to give equally. But there could also be a very defensive and guarded energy. I'm seeing a bird as well. I don't know. Yeah, wanting a new beginning. They could be doing a lot of self-reflection on this, but there could be some sense of lack of strength and courage. There could be a blockage here of you guys being together. There could be something here where this person's needing to make a head over heart decision and they want a new beginning, but there could be something here where, you know, to get through this petty arguments, petty gossip, petty conflict, there could be a very hard conversation that's gonna end up breaking this person's heart. And, for each of you, that's gonna be different. You know, if there is discontentment and this person doesn't take their opportunity with you, they could find out that they're gonna lose that opportunity. There's gonna be something here that if this person doesn't shoot their shot or take this opportunity at full throttle and try to fix some sort of issue and make it known that they wanna fix something, they're gonna end up getting their heart broken. Why? Because they don't have the strength and the courage to maybe do what needs to be done to fix it. They want a new beginning. But I think in their mind, because this hand's itching, this person, their thought is, I want to receive. I want to receive from you. Maybe this person is more of a getter, not a giver. There are people like that who know how to take, but don't know how to necessarily give. Why is this coming up? So this is someone that you have conflict with. Addiction, just come out. An addiction could be an effect, could be, An addiction could be affecting this. This person could be addicted to you, addicted to you and making it work, even when it's time to let something go. For some of you, this has been a seven month, seven year cycle, or you've done this cycle seven times where it's like, okay, we keep trying to make this work. It's not working for a reason. This is the seventh time we've said we're gonna make it work. There's obviously a reason it's not working. Imagine that you have a car and every year you're having to replace like the engine in it. You're seven engines in deep at this point. At what point are we gonna cut our losses and say, okay, obviously this isn't working. So there is some sense of mutual attraction here though, but maybe there's discontentment. Yeah, I think you're attractive, you think I'm attractive, but if we can't get through this petty argument, petty gossip, petty conflict, and for some of you, maybe it's something here of you feeling like this person isn't gonna offer more than something small. So you don't feel like you should entertain it. Some of you are wanting like an offer. And if you're just gonna come in and tell me I'm cute, tell me I'm handsome, tell me that you really like the way I look, the way I talk, the way I walk, what more are you bringing? Okay, so 
For some of you, this is someone who's trying to find their self. And they could be wanting to give and receive, but they could have a very defensive energy when it comes to telling you that they want to give and receive. Okay, so it's like this person wants to have a conversation with you and they want to say, hey, listen, I want to give and receive to you, but I don't feel like I can right now. And I'm learning this about myself and I'm learning that there's a lot more that I need to go through to be the adult that I need to be. I'm hearing that song, God, I'm down here on my knees because it's the last place left to fall. So some of you could be dealing with someone in that form and fashion. And all that they want is for something to kind of come back together or to be together. And it could be something here where it's actually affecting their life because in their mind, they're still discontent that this isn't working, that we haven't fixed this. Because there is some sort of mutual, I wish this could have worked. I wish that we could have done A, B, C, or D. But someone here lacked strength. Someone here lacked courage. Why is this coming up? Because, I mean, if this is a missed opportunity, I don't, not of pinnacles, there could be something coming back, some sort of stable offer, but an offer that's taken a long time to get here. Something here about movement forward. So what's happening is the opportunity to move out of rough waters into calmer waters is presenting itself here. So there's going to be an opportunity for you and this person to get to a place of peace. But that place of peace might look differently than both of you wanted it. I feel like both of you wanted to give and receive. And I think that's going to be possible. But I think the way the giving and the receiving will be will be different. Example, if you wanted to be with this person for the rest of your life, I'm not saying that it's not possible. But I'm saying that the way that you thought giving and receiving might be can actually be different. If you thought that it was going to be this equal 50-50 great communication skills. They know what they're feeling, they're thinking. I'm, I'm not getting that. I'm getting that this is someone who acts or reacts and doesn't necessarily understand why they do that until after. This isn't someone who has the ability to analyze what they're feeling, what they're thinking, and understand how their actions are in correlation to their feelings, their emotions. And right now, they're feeling very emotional that there's some sort of discontentment in different pages when it has to do with you in this dynamic. And there could be something here where both of you are in a place of radically accepting what is and letting it go. But this person could be at kind of at the end of the coattail kind of thing. It's like, I don't want to say you've let it go, but I think you're in a different place than what this person's at. There could again be communication coming in that this is fully over. So there's gonna be some sense of movement here for you guys to find a place of peace. What does that look like? Five of Swords in the reverse. So there could be something here of a releasing of betrayal. Someone could have felt betrayed in the past. Someone could be recognizing where they've been, where they've been wrong at. Something here about being confident, independent, abundant. So again, this person's finding their self. Whoever you're attached to is finding their self. What does that have to do with Pisces though? Ten of Pentacles. Because they want the person that they build with to be you. They can even be trying to manifest you energetically. Is it going to be possible for y'all to build together? Five of Pentacles come out. I would say that that's a no. There is some sort of lack. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords can be a liar, a cheater, a thief. It can also be someone who has a tendency to self-sabotage and not recognize that they're self-sabotaging. It goes back to what I was saying. I think this person has the tendency to take action or say things and not necessarily understand why they do it and where it comes from. I think you guys are built different. I think you guys react to situations differently. And yeah, there could be some sort of, again, attraction or some sense of mutual feeling of, I wish this wouldn't have happened the way it did. Now, that's not saying that you're still attracted to this person. Let's put it in this dynamic. This could be someone where you're like, listen, they kind of make my stomach turn, but I do acknowledge the fact that at one point, that's who I wanted to spend forever with. And I have to acknowledge that that was a reality. And both of you feel that way. Both of you feel 
oh, I wish that we would have went through the discontentment and seen what we had and maybe fought for it. There could have again been some sense of shocking actions or something that took place. Someone could have also not understood what they were playing with, so to speak, because that's what I'm hearing. But there could be acknowledgement here that someone isn't going to get what they want. Someone here can need to find their self on a level that they never expected. And that level has to do with them being alone, being single. It's like this could be someone who has the tendency to allow others to distract them so they don't gain any further knowledge because they like being comfortable. But it's time for some sense of transformation. And this is just the beginning for this person. But with this coming out, I don't see this evolving into something more give me more bring love into the situation yeah don't let pride get in the way so needing to not be prideful when you deal with this person because there's going to be opportunities being brought to you where the worst version of yourself is going to be able to come out. And what do I mean by that? If you want to be vindictive and vicious and mean with your words and cut this person where it really hurts, you're going to be allowed that opportunity. But doing that says more about you than it does them. And I think that's what the universe is saying here is that you have the opportunity to bring love in a situation and accept that what is, is. And acknowledge that, you know, maybe this person is going through a lot of turmoil all on their own. They are sad and disappointed. They are wishing that they were with or in the place that you're at. This could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It doesn't have to be. And this person's just now at a place where they're taking this action and going towards a new beginning where they're not only thinking about their self. You know, maybe this person had the tendency to betray people, to be very defensive, very guarded, to only think about one and one only. What can I get? What benefits me? And if that means taking, stealing, lying, cheating, whatever that looks like, they were willing to do it. And again, I'm getting that this person has evolved. They've been evolving, but it has something here to do with discontentment, you, drama, conflict, and beef. So I don't know if it's something where you put your foot down and you were kind of the domino effect of stuff starting to crumble, but there is something here where this person is recognizing what's been affecting this, where they went wrong. So what do they think is going to transpire with you? They really do think that this could actually come back together. This person believes that you guys are meant to build some sort of foundation together. Yeah, and they could even communicate that to you. I'm telling you, this is someone who's going to communicate to you, I've never fallen out of love with you. I've never actually left you behind. There's never been a thought process of us not being together. What are you going to say? Because in their mind, this will be healed. What are you going to say? Oh, wow. The will of fortune coming out sideways. For some of you, you're going to tell them you guys have ran out of time. For some of you, you're going to tell them, you know, I've become the person I wanted you to be. I've become the, I have become the person that I needed you to be. This is very interesting. What do we have? Yeah. And something here about investments and being alone and being out. And I'm telling you, you're going to have a conversation with someone who's going to try to heal something with you. And you're going to end up telling them something about time running out or you, you, not in this lifetime. There is going to be a conversation of investments and how you don't feel like it's in your best interest to invest. I don't see how this would work out for me. And a lot of you, that's coming from a place of self-love. Step outside your comfort zone. Yeah, a lot of your hard work's paying off. 
because you gave yourself the strength, the courage, the ability to step outside your comfort zone. Maybe this was a comfort zone. Maybe this person was a comfort zone. And maybe this person isn't ready to step out the comfort zone. But because you are taking the first action, you are, are paving the way for this road. Okay, so just be aware, someone's coming to you that wants everything. You're gonna have to make the choice on what you want. I'm gonna leave this here. Have a blessed day, guys.